I don't know about you guys, but springtime is one of my favorite times to do learning activities with kids. This time of year we can talk about life cycles, plant life, animal life, and all kinds of hands-on activities. So in today's video, I'm showing you some ideas that you can do with your kids. This video is sponsored by Lakeshore Learning, plus we have a giveaway. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are talking about activities you can do with your kids that have to do with plant life and animal life. We got a little bit of life cycle. We got lots of hands-on ideas. Since this video is sponsored and there is a giveaway, make sure to watch all the way to the end to find out those details. Let's get on with those ideas. This one is really great for hands-on learning. It's called the Plants Magnetic Science Tin. The Plants Magnetic Science Tin, you guys, first of all, it's great storage because it comes in this great magnetic tin and they have other similar sets that come in the tins too and you can stack them, it's just great. But besides that, this one is for ages three and up and there's so much inside of here. So many things to show you. So first off, we have eight activity mats and these are fabulous because they're what you're going to be using for your activities. So we have life cycle of a plant, part of a plant, caring for a plant, which vegetables grow under the ground, match the pieces to the food products. Oh, that's so cute. I like that one. Match each fruit to its plant, sort the fruits and vegetables, and which vegetables grow above the ground. Then we have answer key too, just in case you weren't sure of the answers. They have an answer key for you. You also get magnets. So there are 30 magnets in the set. And these are not just like really skimpy magnets. These are really nice and and thick magnets so that you'll be able to really get some good use out of them. And then we also have a awesome activity guide. I like that Lakeshore does this because it really makes it simple for you as the parent or as the teacher in kind of organizing how you're going to do this. So it gives you some suggestions on how to use it, things to talk about, and some other activities too that you can build upon. So when you do the activities that are in here, they give you a little bit of extension so that you have more to do than just this part of the activity. So I think that's great. I have to apologize ahead of time for my glare because these are got a really nice finish on them so it's nice that it keeps them sturdy but kind of hard for what I'm showing you guys. What I like to do is to actually use the tin. So here's the empty tin. It's magnetic so I will pick a card and put it directly on here. Which vegetable grows above ground? Let's see which one do we want to do? Let's sort fruits and vegetables. When you're deciding which cards to use, I always say pick one to focus on and then work your way up to multiple cards. So if you have a child that this is a new activity for, don't overwhelm them with all the things, right? Because that can be a little bit intimidating. Pick one and select the pieces that go particularly with that card. I found as my kids got older, they were able to have the whole set out and then one by one do the cards and they would do the whole set. But that's as they got older, you know? So when you're first starting out and you're trying trying this for the first time, make it really, really simple. So what I would do is I would supply the fruits and vegetables or the, the magnets that would apply to this one. And you can do some simple sorting right onto your activity mat. Here's some blueberries that go in the fruit. Gotta get some lettuce here and do the vegetables. And then see they're magnetic so they don't fall off, which is amazing. And everything kind of stays there. Sometimes I would even flip the lid over and I'd put all my pieces on the lid so they're all together. The kids love that these are magnetic. <laughs> they just think that is the coolest thing ever. So playing around with these and making this a great hands-on hands -on activity is going to be perfect because they are magnetic. They're going to love that. And then when you're done, you can have them self-check using the answer key if you want, or you could check and work on it with them too once they've gotten them all up. There's a lot of fruits and vegetables to put on here. So if we were to look at life cycle of a plant, maybe you are actually planting things right now in the garden because it's springtime and you want to try planting things, that they can actually learn the process of the life cycle of a plant. And all they need to do is match up which ones are which. And you'll notice there's labels here. So we have seed. So we can put a seed here. Then it goes to a seedling. Here's my seedling. And then it goes to a sprout. We have a sprout and then we have a plant. So you can use this in correlation with other lessons that you might be working on with your kid. So maybe you're actually planting things, like I said, or maybe you're learning life cycles in general. Use this as part of a bigger lesson plan. If you are doing those plants, I think 
think would be really cool is to actually do this one, the parts of a plant. So where you're diagramming the parts of the plants, so maybe your plant grew that you're working on and you can put the appropriate parts in here. And there's also labels on the cards for them to take a look at and to be able to diagram the parts of their plant. So this is a very cohesive way to look at plants in your life sciences in all kinds of different ways. Like I said, it's a great way to supplement some of the things you might already be learning in class specifically if you focus on one card or it's a good way to really introduce the life cycle and plant life on each card and starting the conversation and talking about it. Plus we love these magnets, right? <laughs> Everything can store right back inside the tin when you're done and ready for the next time that you play. Let's get a little bit buggy and talk about Real Bugs Discovery Kit. Real Bugs Discovery Kit, this is for ages three and up. There are 12 real insects inside of here, but don't worry, they are encased in acrylic. So it comes in a, a little case here that holds all of your pieces in them. And as we look really closely, you can see the amount of detail of these real insects. It's like having your own science lab right at your fingertips. And then there's also labels across each bottom here so you can match them back up and do even a matching game to their labels as well. What I like is there's a magnifying glass so you can get a really good closer look at each insect either in the case or when you take them out to do a study. And then everything fits right back in here. There's even a guide you guys and this is a really really good guide. It's a bug identification guide and if you look at it each page has a pretty in-depth description of each one of them along with the label and a picture of the insect. So that way you can put them back and know that you have them all in the right spot. So you're gonna be learning some facts about each one of them and then you're gonna be able to place them back and label them correctly after inspection. I think some fun activities to do with this is to take one or two and do a further study on them. Also to draw them in a bug discovery kit. Fun way to put them into a sensory bin and to seek and find them, catch them and put them into your bug journal. You can even play with these outside and hide them in the real world too. Looking at them, counting their legs, talking about the color and the shape, the differences between them. If you have an older child and you are doing a bug discovery set, I would pick one of them too. Look through your identification guide, draw a picture, and then also write a small description about what they've read, like a fun fact to show that they have learned something about that particular insect. This next one is a little big to show you right here on the camera, but it's the Butterfly Nursery. The Butterfly Nursery comes with a really great guide and it walks you through step-by-step step what you're going to be doing. So this involves a little bit of setup first of the actual nursery. So what you're gonna assemble is a two-piece wire stand to a floor desk. You're also gonna get a butterfly house, which is what goes around the wire to make the nursery. Included also is a chrysalis hanger, a flower feeder, and a pipette to help you feed. This guidebook, like I said, walks you through step-by-step -step on how to assemble. It also talks about sending away for your butterfly. So there's a little certificate here that you just mail in and they will send you your caterpillars. Your caterpillars will arrive in the mail. You'll get three to five of them and they come in a cup that contains enough food for them until they're grown. And you watch them through the cup, spin their silk and grow into adult. Now, I don't have enough time to show you right now, but if you follow me over on Instagram, I'll be sure to give you updates on our butterfly progress. So follow me over there and you'll get to see the whole thing from start to finish. Once your caterpillars have climbed to the top of the cup and hang upside down, they will shed their coats and reveal their chrysalises. You use the chrysalis hanger to hang them from the butterfly house and in seven to 10 days, your butterflies will emerge. We cannot wait. And once your butterflies have emerged, you'll use the pipette so that you can feed them their nectar, which is sugar water. And then after observation for a few few days they are free to be released weather permitting now let's get on to the giveaway details first things first make sure you're subscribed to the purple alphabet youtube channel because i would love to have you here plus we do a lot of fun things and all kinds of giveaways so make sure to subscribe we are giving away a gift card to lakeshore learning so you can pick what you would like to use in your home with your kids this spring so leave me a comment down below telling me what you would buy with your 50 dollars gift card then head over to the giveaway link to officially enter you must be 18 years of age or older and have a u.s postal address of course i hit a little clue around here in the video so be on the lookout for that and you can score some extra bonus points too you guys i have another lakeshore learning video with some really great ideas in it too i'm going to put it up here on the screen make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love